If you've gone as far as you can go with the default settings created by your upbringing, your education, and your exposure, then it's time for a mindset shift. Albert Einstein's definition of insanity as doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results can be applied in our life and in our businesses. You reach a point where you've maxed out the tools that you have, you've done everything that you know how to do, and it's brought you this far. But you know there's next level. There's always a next level. So we're going to need better tools to improve our outcome. If we expect something different, we're going to have to do something different. Sometimes something completely different. We have to introduce a higher wavelength on which to operate from. Think of it that way. So the goal of personal development really should be to raise the bar on yourself. I would say personal development is more than leveling up. It's more of a transformation. Let people say you've changed because you must change to grow. Personal development is really about us reaching our fullest potential. Jesse Eitzer says, don't aim to be happy, aim to reach your fullest potential. Because you can be happy being mediocre, but that's not the goal of personal development. Personal development is about you being all that you were ever meant to be, being the 100% version of yourself. If you ask yourself, is this me at my best? If the answer is no, then it's time to do what it takes to become the best that you can be. A lot of times we stumble upon glimpses of what we can be. You're doing something and you're totally in the zone and you feel it. You know that you can push through to the next level. Or sometimes you even push through to the next level by accident. God whispering to let you know that there's more to you. We need to push our limits to discover who exactly it is that God designed us to be. For Forget about leveling up. We desire transformation. Romans 12 verse 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good and pleasing and perfect will. The word gives us the key. It's not about a money shift, that you need more money. No, it's a mind shift. And once the mind has shifted, everything else will come into alignment. There's a provision when we're in the will of God.